and this is what he said. He said, we are at the setting of the sun. And that we want to say to you that uh, is visiting visiting us today. Excuse me. And that we want to say to you that is visiting us that probably comes from overseas. We want you to know that you are at the setting of the sun. But that sun is rising again. It's set, but, she's, it, but she is rising again. Bringing us in a new day. The coming of God. The coming of our Savior. He He's not a spook. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad was letting us know that he was about to leave or die or give his life uh, like Jesus, which Master Fry Muhammad said he would do. But it is our position on this DVD that he was killed. Now that we have firmly established that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was a spiritual son to Master Farad Muhammad by virtue of the statement that Master Farad Muhammad made the Honorable Elijah Muhammad more and more into himself. If he was, if the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was killed, what are the consequences? Well, let's see what Jesus said about the murder of the son. Here another parable. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it round about. And he did a wine press in it and built a tower, and let it out to husbandmen, and went into a far country. And when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen, that they might receive the fruits of it. And the husbandman and the husbandman took his servants, and beat one, and killed another, and stoned another. Again he sent other servants more than the first, and they, and they did unto them likewise. But last of all, he uh, sent unto him, them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. Uh, but when the husbandmen saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and let us seize on his inheritance. And they caught him, and they and cast him out of the vineyard, and slew him. When the Lord therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto these husbandmen? They said unto him, He will miserably destroy those wicked men, and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruits in their seasons. For the murder of his son, the Lord of the vineyard shall miserably destroy them. So you're Japanese. Well... So what about it? That's right, we killed your teacher. Hey, just what are you trying to do? Shut up. You really think I'm afraid of him? I'm not. Even though they say he's so good. Look at him, he's just a young fool. Hey, hey.
The Honorable Elijah Muhammad was the fulfiller of all the prophets. He had to suffer what they suffered. Why? Well, the prophets were sent during uh, Satan's 6,000 year rule during his time. It can be argued that Satan uh, can't uh, be judged for exercising his will and killing prophets during his time of rule. But Satan will be killed if found working in the Sabbath. Elijah Muhammad, or the Elijah of the, of the scriptures spoken of in Malachi, was sent during the Sabbath day. He represented all of the prophets and had to suffer what they suffered because he was the fulfiller. In permutations, he was the object of all of the prophets, or he represented them all. So if Satan killed him, it would be the same as killing all the prophets in the Sabbath day. Satan, the white man, was given fair warning. Touch not mine anointed. The arm of Elijah Muhammad knew his mission and gave up his life just like the Jesus of 2,000 years ago. He even suffered death. Jesus in the Bible hinted at this. In Matthew chapter 11 verse 12 reads, And from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffered its violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if you will receive it, this is Elias, which was uh, for to come. Uh, he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Here Jesus is telling you that his life, like the other prophets, is an example for the Elijah, which is to come in the future. Uh, Luke chapter 11, verse 47 reads, Woe unto you, for you build the sepulchres of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. Truly you bear witness that you uh, allow the deeds of your fathers, for they, in killed, they indeed killed them, and you build the sepulchres. Uh, therefore also said the, said the wisdom of God, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute, that the blood of all the prophets which was shed from the foundation of the world, which, uh, uh, which was shed, excuse me, that the blood of all the prophets which was shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation, from the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias which perished between the altar and the temple, verily I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. Here Jesus is telling you uh, that the blood of all the prophets will be required of, of a certain generation or people. Now, what am I saying here? I am saying that the the murder of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad um, cause, is, 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 is the cause of this. Because uh, when the, the blood of Cain, excuse me, the blood of Abel to the righteous blood of, of Zacharias, that those things were done during Satan's rule, but the